I'm going to start doing some videos uh, to help get beginners started. The first thing what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to Create Programs with Smile Basic. Okay, and then you want to go down and click Edit. And from here, this is the screen that you're going to do all your programming from. Let me switch the view a little bit. Okay. And to get started, the first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is print text onto the screen. So, press start. And as you can see, it, it's printed your text right there, and then it says OK. Now let's say you want to get rid of all of this uh, stuff at, to at the top, like a small basic version, blah, blah, blah. OK, go back down to edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to put CLS before our print. So now you press start, and it's kind of cleared everything out, but you still have this OK after your text. Now, uh, basically what this is saying is it says OK whenever your program ends. It's like, you know, OK, what's next? So click Edit. And basically what we're going to do to keep our program running is we're going to loop the same bit of programming, you know, until you stop the program manually. And to make a loop, you start it with the label, and labels start with the at symbol. So we're just going to call this at loop. And then you end a loop with go to, at, and then whatever your label is called. So now if you press start, as you can see, it's just going to print yo over and over again all the way down the screen. Now let's say you don't want it to print so fast. You know, you want to slow it down to where you could actually see it print one at a time. For that, we're going to use the wait command. You press start, and as you can see, it kind of slowed it down to where you could actually see what's going on in your program. Okay, and uh, now we're going to make it to where it doesn't print all the way down the screen. We're going to use the locate command for this. Now, the locate command has something called parameters, which are basically numbers that you put after your command <coughs> uh, that interact with your command. Now, these are the X and Y positions of what you're printing. So you press start, and as you can see, it not only moved it, but it doesn't print it over and over and over again. And I'm going to try and do a few of these beginner tutorials every once in a while until everybody gets caught up and kind of understands what's going on.